Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and check out the sponsor of this video, ToyHacks.com. Hi, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and this is the Legacy Generation 2 Laser Optimus Prime, and I love this toy. But he's missing that Generation 2 look, that colorfulness that the original toy had. Hey, Bert! <laughs> Hey, Patriot Prime, where did you come from? It's the internet, man. Anything's possible. Here, put these ToyHacks.com decals on your Laser Optimus Prime. I think you'll get that G2 look that you're looking for. Whoa, dude, you got to show me how you do that. All right, awesome. Let me put these on and uh, let me get right back with you. A few moments later... Holy crap, Laser Prime now looks amazing. He looks just like the original toy, thanks to Toy Hacks, and thanks to you, Patriot Prime. You are welcome. Not only does Toy Hacks make decals for the modern Transformer figures, but they also make reproduction decals for the vintage G1s. Check out their toy stages to find a cool backdrop for your collection display and visit the Toy Hacks Armory. They have a wide variety of weapons in multiple colors. And don't forget, each purchase with ToyHacks.com adds RoboSense to your account that you can use for future purchases. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And don't forget, tell them Patriot Prime sent you. The featured bot in this video is 1998's Beast Wars 2 Galvatron. This is a figure that I have always wanted to check out ever since I saw him in a Toy Fair magazine so many years ago. And thanks to a subscriber to this channel, Nagging Guy, I have one in my possession to take a look at. So not only am I going to enjoy this figure, you guys are as well. Now, Nagging Guy did not give me this guy. He just gave him to me on loan, along with a huge box of various Transformers to check out. He actually sent me an Instagram message uh, a couple weeks ago, noticed I was doing a lot of third-party Legends figures, and asked why. And I said, well, I really don't have any new stuff coming in mainline until August. So he said, let me hook you up with some, some things that I think you'll like to check out. And when I opened the box up, and saw this guy, I was like, I have to review Galvatron first. So first off, big shout out to Nagging Guy. Thank you so much for all of the bots. That's going to keep me busy for quite a few months. And without further ado, let's take a look at Beast Wars 2 Galvatron. <laughs> Now, we'll start things off by looking at Galvatron in his gloriously weird-looking robot dragon mode. I mean, this thing is just bonkers looking. I love the color scheme, though. Very G1 Galvatron with the purples and blacks, so that is awesome. It's got these wild-looking giant shoulder pauldrons there that really... <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is an odd looking figure. Taking a closer look at him, love the dragon head sculpt. I mean, there is great sculpted details all over this figure, along with some fantastic looking paint applications. He's got painted silver teeth, green eyes. I guess those are like gills right there or something. Lots of articulation in the neck. Can go up and down, side to side and rotate just a little bit, but you got those shoulder pauldrons going along for the ride. Now you can pop the shoulder pauldrons off from what I've read on the internet, but this isn't my figure as I've said before, and GPS is a concern 
with this figure, but I've been messing around with him for a couple of days. Haven't seen any issues whatsoever, but still, I'm not going to risk popping these on and off. Down here on the dragon legs, <laughs> this looks really weird, but he's got knee Gatlin guns. So maybe this section here holds all the ammunition. So that's kind of very odd. I mean, this whole figure is just odd. I love it. Got sculpted, great sculpted detail down here on the tail into this pincher. And these pinchers are actually little missiles that you could launch off. There's a trigger right here and each side fires and actually shoots pretty good. And then of course you got the tail looking like that now. Let's go ahead and pop these back in. I miss spring-loaded gimmicks. And speaking of gimmicks, the wings. Well, I guess those are wings. They can flap. There's a le lever right here. Move this up and down and they kind of flap. It's not great. As you can see, I have to lift this up because it kind of folds down into place here and it just doesn't, I can't get it to really work just like so, but you saw what it does, the wings flap. He has these little tiny dragon arms right here. Once again, very well sculpted. I mean, the sculpting on this thing is awesome. I mean, most Beast Wars figures were sculpted really, really well, and this one's no exception whatsoever. He's just totally bonkers. I mean, I, I dig it. Oh, let's go into more articulation. All over, I am all over the place with this review, so I am sorry. Like I said, you got all the articulation here in the neck. These little arms can move up and down if you get the shoulder pylons out of the way. There's a shoulder rotation. There's an elbow rotate, or excuse me, bicep bend. The legs can move back and forth. The knees can move back and forth slightly, but like I said, you've got all that junk right there no articulation for the tail and then of course you saw the articulation for the wings so now let's go ahead and get galvatron galvatron transformed into his second mode this galvatron is a triple changer so what we're going to do is take the horn that's here on his head and we're going to fold that down up over his nose and then we're going to take these shoulder pauldrons and we're going to rotate these around like I said, I'm going to be very careful with this. Got to make sure and clear the... Get this cleared. I do not want to damage this figure. So get that rotated around. And see there's a port right there. That's going to match up to that peg on the dragon's neck. Go ahead and line that up. Let's see. I think i got to get both these together. There we go. Get that head straightened up and get these squeezed together. Let's do one side, then the other. So now you got that going on. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and flip these red sections out here. And you're gonna collapse the dragon feet up into the knees, just like that. Make sure the Gatlin gun is still facing forward. Do the same here on this side. Goes right into place. And go ahead and unsnap the legs here. Bring this little section up. And then you're going to bring the legs back in and collapse these together. This figure's got some size to him. I keep almost hitting the camera. So we've got that going on. You got this little section right here. We're gonna flip this around and over, just like so. Covers up all the stuff right there. Make sure the dragon feet are all the way in. That's gonna peg into place. Now, we're gonna bring the legs up and just collapse them in. Let's see. There you go. And you'll see this little peg right here that's going to match up to that hole. Go ahead and get that lined up there on that side. Do the same on the other. Just rotate the leg around accordingly. Get the little arms out of the way. Sorry if I hit the camera. Get that pegged in. That pegged in. 
Now, just collapse, make sure and collapse those all in nice and tight. Now, a couple different options you can do. You've got the dragon arms right here. You can fold the arms up and under the wings, but I don't really like that. See, it causes those to pop off. But I am not ready to show that off yet. So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and bring the wings back and down like so. Do that here on this side, back and down, and then just bring the arms up and over and there we have Galvatron in his drill tank mode. Yes, this is a drill tank. It's nothing else. I don't care what you think you see. This is a drill tank. The only thing this is going to penetrate is dirt. So there you go. There's Galvatron's drill tank. And that is something. Just really carries over all of that odd. Make sure and get everything pegged in right there. Now, if you look closely, it's kind of an homage to Galvatron's cannon mode from G1. You've got the gold and the purple there. So it's kind of a reach, but I see it. There is a gimmick with the drill tank. You've got this little plunger right here. Just move that up and down, and he just gets to drilling. He can drill all day. So pretty cool. You got wheels underneath, so now he can move around slightly. It's not the greatest, greatest. Man, I can't talk. He's got the Gatlin guns right there on the front. He's got the missiles here on the back. I like how the paint applications right here make it look like he has a little cockpit right there. So yeah, there is Galvatron's drill tank. Just, you don't see drill tanks very often anymore. Drill tanks were so prevalent back in the 80s and 90s so pretty much that's it for the drill tank now let's go ahead and get galvatron transformed into his robot mode and the first thing we're going to do let's go ahead and pop the legs out from under here and straighten these out you're going to want to flip this section out once again bring the gatlin cannons down extend the other leg Flip this panel out, bring the Gatlin cannon down. Now we're gonna take this section right here, the heel spur of the dragon, lift that up, bring the red section up. Those will form Galvatron's feet. Now we are going to rotate the top here. Let's see. Well, first thing we'll do before we do that is go ahead and unsnap the wing section. It just pegs in right there and put that to the side now let's see if i can get this to rotate around may have to do a little bit more here let's see okay let's take the tail we are going to split the tail right down the middle and it is sometimes a pain it really snaps together good there at the tip so we're going to bring the tail down and around and it's going to peg in just like that so bring this down, you'll see a little tab right there. Just peg that in. Go ahead and flip out Galvatron's head. Now, let's see if I can get this to rotate like it's supposed to. Get the head up, bring this chest piece up. There we go. So once that's up and out of the way, you can rotate the lower body, bring the arms around, make sure these Shoulder sections here are facing up with the red facing towards you. Go ahead and rotate the arms while folding this section of the tail up and it's gonna snap in right there. See that peg or that hole? It's gonna line up to that peg, snap into place. Same thing on this side. Of course, doing that reveals Galvatron's fist and you can launch the missile. And then you got the big drill section all you're going to do with this is fold it straight down and there you have beast wars 2 galvatron in robot mode and just like the other modes gloriously odd looking bot let's go ahead and bring the arms down so there you go so a <laughs> closer look at him he's got beast wars megatron's face he's got that 
scowl. He's got a really cool glass marble right there. I really dig that. That's just something you don't see very often in a Transformer figure. Great paint applications. The guy is bright and colorful and, like I said, just really, really odd. He's got the Gatling guns there on the knees. And, man, I don't know. It's, it's just, I am so taken aback by just how goofy this figure is. Now, you've got his big wing pack here, and what you're gonna do with this is unfold this, or unsnap the wings here, just like so, and then you rotate these around, so you've got this gigantic claw weapon. Let's see if I can get that to work. It's very stiff. Maybe. I don't know what this is where I have such a difficult time doing this. It's got two levers. It's got one underneath here, one on the top. I need to bring it down a little farther. Come on, work for me. So there you go. There is the giant pinchy claw. And you can put that in his hand like so, which just really adds to the oddness of the character. You got Galvatron with a, I'm going to pinch you claw. So, yeah, weird. Uh, remove that not a big fan of that you can go ahead and fire off the missiles here and these will actually form melee weapons and you can put these in Galvatron's fists just like so you can take the wings fold these back and actually clip this back on the back of Galvatron let's see bring the wings down so after you get the wings attached you can actually put those on bring them straight down pop them right off again bring the wings straight down and he kind of has a cape maybe so yeah another issue with Galvatron is he has got one hell of a backpack and there's nothing you can really do with the giant drill I guess you could kind of bring it out slightly but it's going to pop out everything and still really make him back heavy. But he stands pretty good because, well, he forms a tripod. Now, articulation for Galvatron in robot mode. The head can rotate. It can't really do a complete 360. It just looks side to side. The shoulders can do a complete 360 as well. The arms can go out. They can go in. There is a bicep bend and a shoulder rotation, and actually surprisingly, a wrist rotation. Due to transformation, the waist can rotate, legs can go out, they can go in, they can go forward, they can go back, and he's got a really, really deep knee bend. So he's got a lot of articulation for what he is. So there you go, guys. There you have the wonderfully odd Beast Wars 2 Galvatron. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Beast Wars 2 Galvatron with Beast Wars Megatron, Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Megatron, and see what I mean? They have the same face. And Generation Selects Galvatron 2. 1998's Beast Wars 2 Galvatron is definitely an odd Transformers toy. But man, is he a ton of fun. He's just weird and wonderful. Dragon mode is off the chain. The drill tank mode is just words barely describe that thing. And the robot mode is just gloriously colorful and just bonkers. This figure is amazing and I am so glad that I finally got a hold of one. So there you go, guys. 1998's Beast Wars 2 Galvatron. So, does a 1998 Beast Wars 2 Galvatron belong in your collection? Well, if you're a hardcore Beast Wars fan or a Japanese Beast Wars fan, absolutely, this is an amazing figure. He is just so completely off the wall. I love him. I think I'm going to have to go on eBay and see if I can find one for myself. Now, as I mentioned uh, earlier, he does have issues with GPS, so I've heard. But this one right here 
that nagging guy lent me seems to have no problem whatsoever. So this seems like a very solid figure. So maybe it was just a first run or who knows. But if you're looking for one on eBay, they are pretty expensive. The one I'm looking at right now is about $120. And I'm still like, do I want to? It's just one of those things. So yeah, if you're into the Japanese figures, pick this guy up. I think you're really going to like him. Just make sure you read the description and make sure there's no GPS. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a new super thanks button, thanks to YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!